Welcome back to the Prince and Tigers. Alright, so guys, today we're doing Season 3 off-season. Um, so here we are. Coach Change is the first. Um, I can see that we have a new offensive coordinator. Uh, so D, D. Bishops leaves us, guys, for a new job. Congratulations to him. He will be missed. Uh, we have Skip Holtz now as our offensive coordinator. So welcome to the welcome to the team. And guys, this is the sad part right here. Players leaving. Here we go. Brock Hall is a good player for us. Really good player. Left guard. Got seven pancakes in his career. Only one gave an up sack. That's really good. Great player. Sadly not good enough to get drafted, but he's one of our better old linemen. Isaiah Barnes, guys, didn't really do anything until his senior year. Had 26 receptions his senior year. 396 yards, three touchdowns. Had a few receptions in his first two years, but senior year really helped us a lot. Yeah, more drops. Really good receiver, 80 overall, just not good, not quite good enough. Let's have 99 catching though. That's crazy. Brent Col <coughs> Koloff. I just butchered his name. Col Kol 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 I think I think he's it. Another good lineman for us. Good backup. Didn't really didn't really do anything, but he's a good backup. Chris Smith. Uh, really stepped up in his. Uh, Junior and senior year. For a total of 101 tackles. Really helped us a lot in the defense. Um, had two interceptions on his career. Four deflections, one fourth fumble. Pretty good. Dylan White, good backup tight end for us. Always, it was always just the backup to Alex Walter. But he managed to step in there. Gets a few catches, so. You know? Really undershadowed by Alex Walter. He's really good though. D'Andrea, really backup, really good backup defensive tackle. 98 awareness, was a really good player. Just uh, you know, just a little bit lower overall. Evan Capatos. Pretty good fullback. Didn't use him much. More not use him less than out of lacked, but you know, he usually clutched up when we when we get handed it off to him. Of course guys, Alex Walter. Really stepped up. Was one of our best receivers, probably. Um, look at all those numbers, guys. Really, really good. Really good receiver, guys. 74 receptions, 1,264 yards. It's gonna be a, hard, gonna be a, uh, a bad miss, guys. He's a really good tight end, more of a receiver. But he had pretty good blocking stats too. Was really good, really good balance tight end. Dre Nelson was backup most of his career. Um, had two years with us. Got 185 yards, five touchdowns. It was a really good player, just kind of short. Ian McGregory, another good defensive tackle, number 69 too. Really stepped up his last two years, especially in that backup position. But I think he started a few games. I could be wrong. Dave Pinoy, another defensive backup defensive lineman. Hate to see him go. Yeah, he he stepped in there a few times, got some big sacks. Uh, but uh, not a starter, but he'll missed. Alex Dixon, starting right tackle. He was he never played up to his overall guys. Zero pancake blocks and 14 gave up sacks. Like he was not that good, guys, but. But his blocking was not that good. I mean, his blocking was pretty good, so that's why he's starting. Anthony Gaffney, guys. One of our best corners. Hate to see him go. He's really one of our best players on defense. Um, just, he's not, he's, he just tackled everybody, pretty much, guys, as you can see. Look at all those tackles. He's a really good player. He's just getting better and better, as you can see. 30, 47, 55. You'd love to see that. Too bad he didn't go to the NFL. Matt Arendis didn't play in his senior year because Will Sledge overtook him. But in that in uh, his junior year was really good, 48 tackles. Just didn't just didn't uh, quite just didn't quite get to play as much too like probably. 
Grayson Fisher was one of my best defensive linemen. Hate to see him go. With all the sacks, guys. 20 total sacks. Two fumble recoveries. Two forced fumbles. One defensive touchdown against uh, Fresno State. And the Idaho Potato Bowl. One of our best players right there on defense. Chris Pondo, another backup uh, defensive lineman. He's real stepped in there when we needed him. Kedrick, uh, Kedrick Bostich never even, never even uh, took a snap at Princeton. Uh, just wasn't that good, really. Uh, but glad he's graduating. West Moon, one of the best player linebackers I've ever had. 105 total tackles. Got better and better as you can see. Just wish I had him for another year. He's he, when he was out on the field, you could know his presence was there, dude. He was really good. Seth the Valve, really back up his most of his year, but especially in 2015. But you know, he didn't have a touchdown. He was pretty good. Just didn't get to play as much. Daniel McCord, guys, another wide receiver loss. He was really good, guys. A lot of yards, and he uh, got the longest kick return in CA history. So, you know, not the best, but he was really good. Travis McHugh, another senior wide receiver, didn't get to play much at all, but he did have one reception every year, one touchdown. Wasn't the best, but you know, glad to have him on the team. And that's it, guys. So no, um, no. No pro Princeton Tigers this year. We're gonna upgrade the uh, Skip Holtz. Probably the carrying this. Take the running stuff. And definitely the blocking. All right, we'll take that. Let's go. We got some, should have some good blocking. Offense should be really good next year. Our uh, Skip Holtz is way better than all of our coaches, guys, as you can see. So that's a really big. That's a really big boost to the offense. All right, transfer request. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Dang. I right, guess here's the recruiting. Got a lot to go after. So let's check the position needs. What do we need? You know, tight end. That's it, and a fullback too. But you know, that's not really that important. So we need Anthony McCoy. So I'm gonna drop. Oh. 500 on him, hope he commits. If he doesn't commit, I'm gonna, it's gonna make me so mad, dude. Tomario Lamb will go five. Jason Blanchard will go five. Outlaw, I'm not gonna check on him yet. David Sims, I'll go a thousand or so. Not gonna go after hand. Hawkins. I'll go 2,000 to the scholarship because we lost a lot in the defensive line. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give him some points there. Jermaine Smith, we need to, but let's go outlaw here. Really need a good, or I really want a solid uh, linebacker, so I'm going to go th three, I'm going to go 4,000 into him. I'm not going to that 80 overall wide receiver, guys, because we have plenty of wide receivers. So, and Jermaine Smith can get the rest. Hopefully, we can get a decent amount of these guys. I'm hoping. You just never know, dude. Right now, our class is 29th in the nation, which is not terrible. Uh, I'll take that. All right, guys. So, didn't do very good. Demario Lambs didn't go to decide not to go to college. I guess so. That's stupid. I knew he wouldn't commit. Jermaine Smith, guys, look at this. Wow. Just a hundred points off, guys. From getting him. Like, you can't get more unlucky than that. Come on now. We don't get Anthony McCoy. Syracuse drops 15,000 on him. <sighs> I knew somebody was going to do that, guys. It's not a horrible loss, but could definitely could have used him. Jason Blanchard, I don't care. That's not a bad loss. We get Craig Outlaw, though, guys. That's big. That's big time for the defense. Just a hand, I don't care. Matthew Hawkins somehow didn't get him. 615. So annoying, dude. We got David Sims as well. 
By the way, guys, Slade Romero's name will be changing to uh, Carl Weezer, I think is his name. Finish with the 24th class in the country. I'll take it. That's pretty good for the Mac. All right, here we are, guys. Position changes. This is a big, big part of the dynasty here. So, we got two seniors at quarterback, one freshman, and two, sorry, and two freshmen. Um, definitely need to go after a quarterback this year, though. Because these guys are not that good. Like, we need to get a quarterback bad. Uh, running back. You got this uh, secure. So this setup gonna redshirt Adam Smith probably. Um, so he's always gonna be backup. Receiver looks all pretty good. Looks really good actually. We have Rodney Neal and uh, we have Rodney Neal and Deron Clark now, guys, with us. So that's great. James Barnes, our only tight end. He's gonna be about a 70. Not very good there. Lineman, not this is yeah, this is what I'm worried about. So we'll have a 70 here. 68. 74. 74 and 68. So I'm gonna try to go after O lineman probably. Should probably go after O lineman. Just get really good O lineman. Um what can we move this guy to? Cause they can really go down. They're at center. They go down like three overall. It's annoying. It's a waste. So we can leave him at center. Josh can give me backup. So for some reason, all of our defensive ends are over here. I don't know why. So I'll move him over here. Alright, so Jeff Walton. Probably going to be red shirt him, but. We have Marcus Dingle starting, it'll be a 71, something like that. Right end, uh, gonna be, yeah, gonna be Mike Fitch. Probably gonna redshirt him, honestly, so we can have Lance Henderson. Um, so yeah, it's really good, looking good at right end. Defensive tackle, got two good, one good, really good freshman, another good, decent, pretty good one. Uh, definitely need to go after some more, probably. Linebacker in a red shirt West, so you can have him as a red shirt freshman starting. And a linebacker gonna go. I don't know, guys. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Might red shirt Craig Outlaw. I haven't decided yet. Don't know. And right outside linebacker, definitely gonna go Rodney Wilson. Best bet there. Joe Benson, maybe 68 overall, guys, but he plays way above that. Corner looks pretty solid. Um, got a lot of sophomores though. But um, if Connor Vickers guy is back, you know, yeah, I was probably forgot about him. Uh, I did too, to be honest. But we have him. He's really good. Um, he's kind of he's really fast, guys. As you can see, 95 speed. Uh, but he's got really good coverage. 79 and 80. So, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. He's gonna be a good player. Of course, we have Antoine Brown as well, and Jeff Parker, and Antoine Ramirez, guys, so, and Tim Washington. So, corner, we are stacked. Free safety, of course, Will Sledge. Max Lascano is a backup. And on this side, we got Demarcus Anderson finally getting the, uh, the start. Been waiting to see him out there. Uh, of course, Jason Downing, Tyler Roth is last year with us. We got David Sims, the athlete. It's a good running back. That's about it. So, uh, we'll just put him at running back for right now. Redshirt him. He'll be a good. These guys will be both. We have two really good halfbacks now. Let's go. Back up. And Christian Phillips will leave us. Alright, guys, here's the team. And Christian Phillips gets up to 90 overall as a junior. So this, is our, this could be, I think it's our first 90 guys on the team. I think it is. And as you guys can see, look how solid this team is. Look how many 80s. If you count, if you can't Antoine Brown, I'm gonna go ahead and count him. One, two, 14, eight, 14, 89, eight, 14 80s guys. And one 90 too. 
It's crazy. Shannon Walker up to 87. Laying an 83. Phillips to a 90. Zoy to a 76. Leatherwood to an 88. Clark to an 81. Cam Hayes to an 81. Rodney Neal to an 80. James Barnes to a 72. 72 here. 73. That's a good 80 right there. Nice. Seventy there, but I think we have a freshman there, so. Seventy-two, Marcus Dingle, seventy-six, Lance Henderson. Hey, don't worry about it, even to tackle, we got that covered. Linebacker, seventy-seven, Michael Strad, nice. Joe Benson up to a seventy-three. Let's go. Don't worry about, don't worry about that. We got that covered. Yeah, Cody Wyatt up to an eighty-seven. Let's go. Connor Vickers up to an 80 80 overall freshman guys as long as he goes up as long as he goes up five he should be high 90s when he's a senior guys so that's gonna be one of our best players right there um but corner none of these guys are red shirt because i needed them immediately but we're going up we're getting better at corner we're getting better at corner we're really good at corner this year we'll sledge up to an 84 Marcus Anderson up to a 77. Jason Downing up to an 89, guys. Look at this. 89 overall sophomore. 95 kick power. That's crazy. And Tyler Roth up to an 85. Overall team's looking really good. I don't have to cut anybody, guys. Look at that. That's perfect. All right, here we are, guys. Season 4. Starting out unranked. That's fun. So what I'm going to do, guys, is um, at this point... It's gonna be at the custom conferences like before this, but around this point of next season. So season four off the season. What I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna do a live stream. First ever Princeton Tigers live stream. It's gonna be where you guys can like just uh, come in and watch, but um, I'm gonna have people, like I'm gonna ask people what conference we should go to and whichever one has the most votes in that live stream, we're just gonna go to it. Doesn't matter what other people said. So if you want me to be in a certain conference, you better be in that live stream. All right, so don't forget to check into that live stream. Probably will be sometime around seven, probably seven thirty, something like that, uh, p.m. Central Time. So don't forget to drop in, say what conference you want us to be in. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.